Hi, welcome to Bedtime Terror, the show where I watch a scary movie before bed and let you know how I think I'm going to sleep. My name is Bobby, and for this spooky season edition, tonight's review is going to be on the 2016 movie, Boys in the Trees. Let's get into it. So, Boys in the Trees um, is an Australian movie and is about uh, two teenage boys who one is, uh, you know, more popular and um, is friends with uh, a few other teenage boys uh, who are also seniors graduating with him um, that are, you know, very bratty rowdy, um, bigoted, um, and tend to bully, um, one of their, uh, uh, classmates who we, um, soon find out had at one point been best friends during, um, primary school with our protagonist. Um, and that's all I will say. Um, because I don't want to give the movie away. Um, so this movie, like I said, is from Australia and it is great quality. Um, just very nicely produced, uh, really good effects, well written, uh, well acted. Um, the cast is young, but you know, they came across as very seasoned. Um, the, the teenagers, I don't know if it was just me. Um, but I don't recall if teenage boys were always so, um, annoying and unlikable, but then again, this movie was set, um, in, I will, in like the nineties and like 97. Um, so, you know, what would have been considered acceptable and edgy back then, um, would just be downright like hardly tolerated with most people now, uh, even for teenage boys. Well, I would like to think so. That said, um, it's a, you know, just a, overall a very good movie. It is, however, going to be a longer movie, clocking in just under two hours. So it is a slow burn. It's not going to be like the rest of the movies on this, uh, um, on this, you know, uh, list that are going to be quicker, going to, um, deliver those scares and, um, uh, and gore and blood very early on. This movie, in fact, has, I don't think it has any blood except for one moment where, um, you know, we see, um, a, a little bit of, like a drop of blood that said, however, this movie is a serious one, especially in comparison, um, again, to the movies I had, uh, reviewed previously. And I do want to warn viewers that there is, um, in like implications of, uh, self-harm as well as child sexual assault. So with that in mind, um, I do want um, any uh, potential viewers to be aware of that going into this movie beforehand, um, just in case you want to give this one a skip um, if you're not comfortable with those subject matters. Like I said, is very brief and very, um, and, and it's implied, but still um, the director um, definitely got the, uh, point across. So I just wanted to, you know, let anyone, uh, that may need to know, be aware of that. Um, but it's overall a very good movie. Um, there are, you know, the, the first hour you're going to have to, um, just, you know, kind of sit with it. It's story building, um, so you're going to have to get through that first hour, but a little bit past that hour mark, it does definitely start to pay off and it takes off from there. Um, so stick with it. 
it has um, again this isn't like any other movies in my uh, recommendations for spooky season it has gravitas it's ten it's really a coming of age film um, that deals with different subject matters um, for you know teenage men teenage boys uh, trying to you know find that balance of entering adulthood yet not wanting to grow up and wanting to you know still be in the moment while planning for the future and there's even moments where um towards the end where they show some you know they show these same boys that were um uh that I was saying at the beginning of the movie were extremely unlikable obviously um, the show character growth, but <laughs> these same boys that I was saying were extremely annoying, um, irritating, unlikable, um, have a moment where they are showing vulnerability with one another, um, which I think also shows, you know, strength within masculinity amongst themselves and themselves as a friend group, uh, as peers. Um, and as another sign of them growing into their manhood um, before they all, you know, um, graduate from high school and part ways. So if you're looking for something with, uh, you know, a little bit more gravitas, something that's more of a slow burn, that's going to uh, not give you uh, blood and gore and, um, you know, is going to give you more suspense, tension, and thrills, as well as giving a good, sharing a good story, although a bit cheesy here and there, overall, just, you know, a very well-performed, well-produced, well-delivered movie, then um, I recommend this movie most definitely. Um, Get through that first hour, you'll definitely enjoy yourself. Um, that said, on a scale of one to five, I would give this a four. I do not believe it's going to keep me up tonight. Um, but I definitely ended up enjoying, uh, this movie once I was able to, you know, muster past that first hour. So thank you so much guys again for watching. I appreciate your eyes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with those who scare, you know, trick or treat. It's Halloween season. Give me some treats and, and share, subscribe, like, comment down below. And as always, this movie is 100% free on YouTube without ads. The link will be in the description box down below. Thank you again. I appreciate you guys and sleep tight.